Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share a couple of things with you that I'm super excited about. Um, many of you have asked me to kind of narrow down my favorite lipsticks. And, you know, they are all drugstore. My favorite lipsticks are all drugstore, with the exception of what I buy at um, The Color of the World. So, I would say if I'm looking for my top favorite, and I don't have a ton, so I think it's really hard. I mean, some people will come on to their favorite mascara, their favorite this or that, and they have like 20 of them, right? It's like, okay, but what is really your favorite? So I do have a number of different lipsticks, but what is my overall favorite? So if you're curious, stay tuned. I've often talked about Color of the World. I am not an affiliate with them. I'm not sponsored. They don't even know I exist. I don't have a discount code, nothing. But I love these lipsticks. I bought them, I think, two or three times, three times, well, tail end of 2019 and into 2021, three times, make three orders. My all-time favorite of the color of the world in their colors my all-time time favorite is independent more often than not when I'm putting my lipstick on I'm putting on independent and I top it with my favorite gloss I have a lot of different glosses that I like so I'm not really hooked up on it but this is I don't know if you can see it I think independent is, it's kind of a, uh, it's, I don't know, you know, I don't know whether I would, I wouldn't really call it a mauve, but it's sort of a neutral to me. It isn't pink, it isn't mauve, it isn't purpley, it isn't peachy. It's like a darker, without being dark, because I don't do red, neutral. I love it. I just think this is awesome so my all-time favorite in the color of the world has to be this particular one and this is empowerment I love it my second favorite in color of the world and both of these by the way I have bought a number of times my second favorite is independent an independent just has a little bit more independent is the bottom one right there a little bit more of a for me a mauve a mauve color maybe a little bit of pink or purpley in it but a mauve color and so both of these I just opened this one up not too long ago um, which is why it's still pretty full but both of these are well loved and well used and my top favorite of all my lipsticks except they're really not drugstore are they so when we get into drugstore the my ultimate favorite in drugstore that I have bought this is probably the fourth maybe fifth time I've repurchased this particular color this is a Maybelline lipstick and this is number 450 and this is romantic rose it is more rosy but not that bad it's kind of like that perfect it kind of reminds me of empowerment but a little bit more rose it's on the bottom one if you put them up together you can see it's more pink on the bottom I really like romantic rose so Maybelline this is it no romantic rose is definitely it the second one that I love in Maybelline is this one it's number 665 and it is lust for blush and that a little bit more rosy a little bit more pinky but I just love it I just think these colors I think these these are just really really pretty so as you can tell use these over and over again so my four top lipsticks would definitely have to be these four and I have many other lipsticks I have some really expensive lipsticks that were sent to me for Octoly for review um, I have a number of expensive lipsticks but those are still my favorite in their drugstore my all-time favorite that I use to lighten up any color that's too dark because I don't like red I don't like dark lipstick and this one I don't even know if you can get this I haven't seen it in a while this is Rimmel and this is number 45 I really like it so I use that to lighten up whatever lip color I have on 
my favorite uh, lip glosses of choice this past year has been Sephora. I consider Sephora uh, their brand, just like Ulta brand, I consider that like drugstore, you know, brand. So I love these Sephora, and I'll list the name below because these are not the glosses you can get everywhere in Sephora. Um, sometimes they run out of these. They're not the, they're not their normal glosses. These are just really pretty. I really like them. I've only had good luck with ordering them online. I um, every time I go, they're they're sold out. The two colors that I like are sold out. And I happen to like like O one and O two. And this darker one is the one I wear more often as a topper, believe it or not. And I'm gonna put that right on top of here, so you can see it has a lit little bit of a color. So you can wear it alone, and lots of times I do wear it alone. I don't always wear it with the color underneath. And then you have this lighter one. Let's see where I can put this. Just clear. Just clear with a light, tiny, tiny tinge of pink. So that is, I'm gonna have to swatch this and wipe this all off. That is my drugstore favorite lippies. Actually, not drugstore, my all time favorite lippies. I love these lippies. Out of all the lipsticks I have, and I have a ton, like I said, these are the ones I just gravitate to all the time. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video. Many of you have asked and short little video about my favorite drugstore. Very affordable lipsticks. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite shades? Don't mention any reds, because I just don't do reds. I just don't do reds. Don't like them on me. I think the red lipstick looks beautiful on other ladies, but on me, I feel it ages me. And at my age, I don't need to be aged any more than I already am. So thank you guys so much for watching.